right, so this is our first real week back training, or my first real week back training. Um, and what I've decided to do the next six weeks or so is do a uh, triphasic style of training. Um, and if you don't know what that is, Cal Dietz, he coaches Olympians, he's a strength coach at Minnesota. It's kind of what he came up with to hit every aspect of the movement. Eccentrics, concentrics, isometrics, full speed. Um, to hit them as hard as you can in a periodized manner to where then once you do a deload or you take a few weeks to just train normally, you're going to super compensate and you should crush either PRs and lifting, um, jumps, sporting events, things of that nature. Um, so if you don't know what triphasic is, um, we'll go into a deep dive in that in another day. But um, right now we're just going to kind of talk about the training that I'm doing. So basically how I have it set up, I don't, I don't really want to load my shoulder yet because not that I'm afraid I'll hurt it because there's nothing to hurt because they didn't put any sutures in. They just completely cleaned it out. But what I don't want to happen is the pain and mobility issues because I'm not quite as mobile right now because I haven't really done much mobility with it over the past four months. And two, like it is painful in certain positions. Um, so what I'm going to do for at least these next six weeks are all my main movements. I might throw some safety bar squats in, some camera bar squats in for some volume and some extra work. But um, what I'm going to do for the next six weeks, it's going to look like this. The blocks are going to look like this. I'm going to do a two weeks of an isometric block. Um, so it's going to be, let's say, I mean, I'll actually bring, I'll actually bring up everything for y'all. Give me one second. Let's look at what my training looks like. So let's go to teams. And now this wants to be slow, doesn't it? All right. Is it Jake's comeback? Here we go. So I started this on Tuesday. I went Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, uh, Saturday. So this is how I'm going to have each week for the next six weeks uh, built out. So I'm going to do um, prehab stuff, prehab stuff, face pulls, pull apart, internal, external rations, uh, some good mornings, TKEs just for back health, things like that. Bandage distractions are key in any of my programming. This is the warm up that. I mean, I, I do this for my rehab, but this is what I give all my athletes anyways. This is what they do every single day for their part of their warm-up, no matter what. Um, sometimes there'll be sled walks, sometimes there'll be GHCs, reverse hypers, but that A and B is in every single program that I have, um, and it is key to the success and the health of our athletes. Um, do sled drags, moderate weight, get nice and loose. Um, so the first thing... The first day is always going to be belt squat, clean pulls. And I really don't want to put a heavy weight in my hand. I we have a we took some old bars, we cut the handle, we cut the the sleeves off, um, so I can hold like a snatch or a clean. But it gives me about 20 to 30 pounds of weight in my hand and feeling a barbell without actually loading my shoulders or my back with a barbell. Since I'm I I probably could do that now, but I just don't want to put anything in my hand quite yet till the pain goes away in my shoulder. But as you can see. The, the first week is going to be 80% uh, 80 eccentric uh, for my belt squat uh, clean pull. So what I'm doing is I'm going off of a 450 max. Um, my best was four, 457, I believe, was 207 or 47. Whatever, whatever 207 is, but I'm going off 450. That was my best ever. Haven't hit that recently, but that's what I'm going off of this. So what I'm doing is I'm taking 80% of that, putting it on the trolley of the belt squat, right? So my, my entire legs, hips, everything's loaded there. Um, I'm doing a six second descent and I'm exploding up as fast as I can or at the best, as best as I can, I should say. And then next week will be 82% or slightly heavier, maybe 85 if I'm feeling good. Then week three will be isometrically and whatever my most compromised position would be, wherever I struggle at the most. So it might be above the knee right, right before contact, holding that for six seconds and then exploding up. Um, same thing week four. And then after that, I'm doing more dynamic work, like a conjugate style, so I can still get my squats in. So I'm doing a belt squat, box squat on a 20-inch box, or no, 18-inch box that we did, I believe. Uh, and I'm doing 50% of my max. Um, and I put a green, green band on there, and I'm moving as fast as freaking possible. Um, and let's look at Thursday. Thursday is more of the true um, triphasic type movement. Uh, the front, uh, the heel elevated lunge. Um, so like most of the videos you've seen with Cal Dietz, he'll have 
the guys with safe squat bars, holding handles, doing those uh, those lunges with that heel elevated. And um, I don't really have a max on this, so I just kind of guesstimated where I might be, something that would be heavy for that. Um, so I have 9%, 92%, 90%, 92% for the isometrics after that. Um, but I only held with one hand. I didn't hold with this hand just to be smart. And it was tough. Um, still another six-second eccentric. Then after that, I used the same weight. Um, and then I did five triples with, I would say, about 80% of uh, my mat. Actually, no, this is wrong. This is wrong. This should be exactly what this is. I used the same weight for this just because I don't have a true belt squat max. No, but I don't know anybody who does belt squat max, especially on the, the rhino that'll bust your ass if you go too freaking heavy. Trust me, there's a video on here where I can't get out of the hole because I bought them out and I can't get up. And then day three right now um, is, so let's go back. I'm sorry. I didn't explain it good enough. So day one is a um, heavyish day, moderate day um, with 80%. Day two is that maximal, submaximal, like so right there. That's where the effort's going to be. Like that's going to be super heavy work. And then the day three is going to be more of the volume work. As you can see, it's 70%. Everything is still six seconds, six to 10 seconds. But right now we're just doing six seconds. Um, 70%. Um, percent, and then I'm doing wide squat, uh, belt squat at, um, with that same weight um, for five sets of eight for more volume. And I'm not doing anything else. No other movements. No other training. Just doing that for the first week, and then next week I'll probably throw in some single joint exercises, possibly some safety bar squats or some cane bar squats just for volume. So I'm not going to pull yet. Um, I'll do some, start doing some more hamstring work with bands and all of that good stuff. So that is that. Now let's get to the actual training videos. All right, so we're going to get back to uh, going over my videos of my squatting with the belt squat. For some reason, the videos before, super choppy when we try to capture them. So we're gonna go back over and look at all the videos. So here we go. Give it one second to start up. All right, so let's uh, take a look at this. All right, so here I'm warming up. This is just 225, um, and this is day one. So you can see, just warming up. I have a, they call it a war bar from Rogue. That's where that bar is called. We took an old Walmart bar and just cut the ends off, shaved it down. So I have something to hold that's a little more comfortable um, in my hands. That's not super heavy, but as you can see, I'm doing that slow eccentric even here on the warm up, right? All right? Let's see what this is. So here's my first working set with four plates on it. All right, here we go. Let's talk about this. All right, so I'm gonna go down slow. These first couple sets, I probably descend a little faster than I need to. Just kind of feeling the groove out, but I'm exploding up as fast as I can. The goal is to explode up violently, control it down with a six second eccentric. And I, as I said, as we get through the workout, I slowly, get in the groove and get a better descent, right? But you can kind of see just with this and just the angles how grueling this really is. So here's a side angle. And so this is day one. So this is the, the six second eccentric clean pool. I mean, it is loading the back, the quads, the hamstrings. I mean, to a T, it is awful. This burns so bad right here. But exploding up as best to my ability. And again, um, I think I said in the other video before I had to redo this, is usually we put the load on the bar, and then we put some load on the actual uh, belt squat to usually like anywhere from 25 to 30% with a band. But since I'm not super comfortable holding anything in my hands yet, that's why we are using all the load on my hips, which makes it extremely tough. There you go. I'm, yeah, as you can see, I'm getting a better groove of controlling it down at a better six second pace. One, two, three, four, five, six, up! Oh! Yeah, that's good stuff right there. And after that, then we go to box squat, which I actually have some bands on here. Like I said, Mondays we're trying to do a more of a dynamic dynamic day 
after the eccentric work. So light, explode up as violently as possible. Knees are wide, I mean, feet are wide, forcing those knees out, trying to contract everything I can. That was my first, oh, that was my last set of that. Um, let's go back and see, watch another video of that. Here we go. Let's watch it from the side. Go down fast, explode. Fa explode, hips, glutes, staying as vertical as possible. Let's see what else we got. I might have another angle right here. There we go. Fast, wide stance, knees out, explode up. Knees out, explode up, knees out, explode up. All right, and then this would be day two. We're going almost maximum. So this is 90% of, um, you know, of a single leg split squat. And this, again, you know, it takes a few sets to kind of get in the groove for the six-second descent. But explode up as violently as possible. And we're only doing singles here for this. Remember, just single, 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 singles for this. Here we go again. Set up. Descent, 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 descent. Knee touches. Explode up. Opposite leg. Here we go. Nice descent. One, two, three, four, five. Explode. So here's the front. Let's see what this is. If this is going into the squats or if this is the last set of split squats. So here's probably one of the last set of split squats. Explode up. Control it down. Control it down. One, two, three, four. Five, six, explode. All right, let's see when we get to our squats. Here we go. And so this, we're just doing regular squats. Just trying, using the same way we used on the split squat. Shh, Teddy, be quiet. It's my dog being annoying right now. But here we go, just going down, going down. This is my first week back squatting. Do from surgery, I took about two weeks off for anything before surgery. You can see ankles are tight, hips are tight, form's not great. Um, but that's going to get better and better as the next few weeks progress. And plus at the same time, this belt squat machine compared to, I think I've said it before, pitch sharks or anything else, it really is a motherfucker. Like you've got to be in a good position and you've got to stay vertical. Or that thing will pull you so far forward. It's better sets and reps right there. Trying my best not to touch it for balance or anything. Shh, Teddy, you're being annoying, buddy. All right, this is day three right here. And this is where we're going a fat, uh, more reps, a little more volume. Um, so with the undulating, it's, you know, 80%-ish, 90%-ish, and then now we're down to 70%-ish. Teddy, shh, quiet, buddy. As you see, I'm going down, 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 exploding up. Controlling down, 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 exploding up. Down, 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 exploding up. And as the week got on, you could see my descent got crisper and crisper and better um, actually timing it, better each time going down. So here we go. Here's another good angle of it. One, two, three, four, five, six, explode up. One, Two, three, four, five, six, explode up. And then now we're going to wide stance squats. Just regular wide stance squats, trying to get the ankle mobility, hip mobility back, doing five sets of eight right here, fast as I can. As I'm working, I'm getting faster and faster and faster, trying to get deeper and deeper each and every rep. And as I showed you before, this is going to be the same program for the next two weeks. And then week three and four is when we'll go to isometrics, and that's when we'll make another video. Videoing the isometrics, me pausing at my weakest position um, in the pool or the split squat. Here we go. Opening it up. Look at, like I said, I got, I'm working on my ankle mobility, hip mobility, lab mobility. I want to be vertical. I want my heels flat. And I really want those knees going forward. And that wide stance... Not only hit your adductors, 
abductors, glutes, hit your legs differently than a close stance squat. For me, the goal was to get my ankles and groin in a better position so my knees can travel farther forward. Um, so when I catch a heavy clean, I might be in a wide stance. I really need to get in a good position for that again. As you can see here, I'm wide because you never know when you a snatch. You pretty, you don't, you're not, you're gonna catch in a pretty good position, but cleans, you never know how you're gonna catch it. So I want to be able to, if I catch in a wide stance like this, my knees are forward, heels are flat, toes are in good position, chest is in a good position. Um, so that's that. Um, again, that was week one and week one training. Week two is gonna be very similar, so I won't make a video about that because we're only going up anywhere from two to five percent on everything. But I would like you to subscribe, like. Share. If you have any questions, comment down below. And then week three and four are going to be isometrics where I will pause for six seconds in my most compromised position from the clean pools and from the lunge. So remember, stay savage, not average.